scrolling through this through this 1990 University of Miami recruiting class. Now memory lane. <laughs> Big <Bigger> of my eye. <laughs> now, but listen, Brian McKinney, Clinton Porters, Vernon Carey, Andre Johnson, the Weaver Twins, Kevin Beard. Ken Dorsey. Ken D got, a, got a funny story about Ken Dorsey. So, um, Footballville, we've been credentialed with the University of Miami for like four years. Um, and we get an invite to the Hall of Fame ball, a ceremony. Uh, uh, it's just like a Hall of Fame ball. You dress up, you go, um, and then induct people into the University of Miami. Or it's like the day before induct people to the University of Miami Hall of Fame. And um, we went one year, um, we had a girl used to, used to work with us named, um, what was her name? The first girl, it wasn't Jenna. Can't remember her name, whatever. Let's say Katie, her name was Katie. Katie used to work with us. And Katie uh, was a journalist getting started and she was from, she went to Florida State. So we interviewed a couple people, Joaquin Gonzalez, we interviewed, uh, a few people, man. Uh, then we got to Ken Dorsey. First of all, I didn't realize how tall Ken Dorsey was. You know what I'm saying? I, he, he, he said 6'4". Maybe then he was like 6'7". We get to Ken Dorsey, and she's excited to interview him. He cool, cool dude. Um, so she started interviewing him. And then she cracks a joke about, well, I graduated from Florida State. And um, he was talking candidly, then he, he looks at her and he got serious. And he said, he said, well, I've never lost to Florida State. Um, and she kind of like, she kind of got <laughs> the look on his face was like, man, don't, don't play with me like that. Like, with this Florida State tragedy in a bit of my interview. So he was like, well, I never lost to Florida State. So, I mean, that's your problem, basically. He said something like that. And she, she kind of blushed it off. And, but I was like, man, the, still after, you know what I'm saying? He was coaching or something, and still after, these things still linger when it comes to this Florida State Miami thing. But I just thought that was pretty funny. Um, right on this on this recruiting class, we got Philip Buchanan. Philip Buchanan. Um, the story about Philip Buchanan. 1998, UM had a, a Nike camp. It's just crazy. They had a Nike camp at UM for the recruits. I mean, I'm sure that that doesn't happen anymore. I mean, but 1998, they had a UM camp. And the camp, Andre Johnson was a star. Um, I don't think Kevin Beard was there. Clint Porters was there. Um, who else was there? Vernon Carey was there. And Philip Buchanan, who had been hampered by injury, four-star athlete, attended the camp. But at that time, he wasn't Philip Buchanan. He was being recruited, not recruited, but not recruited by none of the state schools. See, back, back then, back then, if you were from Florida, and Florida State, Miami, or Florida wasn't recruiting you, then the kids felt like, I mean, you weren't nothing. You weren't good enough. You weren't good enough to go to one of those schools. That's how good they were. I mean, if you're watching this and you're under 30 years old, 35 years old, it, kids felt like, man, if you, and if you did get an offer from one of them, it's like if you don't go to one of them, then maybe you wasn't good enough. So basically it's like if you're good enough, you'll stay in Florida. That's kind of how, like, how they looked at it. Um, so Phil, Phil, Phil Buchanan attended the camp. The headliner was Andre Johnson and I think Vernon Carey. Uh, we know Andre, Andre Johnson big time. I, I what, Miami High, right? Andre Johnson with the Miami High? Yeah. Um, big time, big time recruit. Uh, Philly Buchanan said he was running late that day. Uh, he was supposed to line up at cornerback, so he got there and he had to work out with the wide receivers. Um, when he got there, he was, he was under the radar, Fort Myers. You know what I'm saying? Nobody really know about him. And Butch, Butch Davis was actually there. 
Um, and in this house, this, let me tell you just how the politics of some of this stuff is sometimes. Um, he said when he ran a 40 yard dash, he ran like a 4 3. And the person that clocked him was Billy Rowe. Okay, a little history on Billy Rowe. Billy Rowe, I think, has two state championships. One is when he took over Killian team and they won a state championship. And the other is when he took over that great Miami Northwestern team with Ja'Cory Harris and Darius Johnson. Uh, after the whole Antoine Easterling debacle, that team was put together by the current Miami Central staff, basically, which is A.J., Coach Smith. Like, they put that Northwestern team together. Then the Antoine Easterly rape scandal came about, and they all had to step down and hand the team over to Billy, Billy Rowe. Billy Rowe won a national championship with that team. But Billy Rowe was at the camp, was at the camp uh, during the 40s, and he clocked a Philip Buchanan in the 40 yard dash, like, at four point three, something like that. Phil balled out at that camp and made a name for itself. But the story is, Butch basically told, Butch basically told the media there, and I'm sure it wasn't a bunch of media because this was 1999 high school. High school media wasn't as huge as it is now. You know what I'm saying? Told them to keep it under the wraps. Don't give them no more stars. Don't do anything. Keep it under the wraps. We're going to keep this one for ourselves. Um, and that's how the politics kind of works sometimes. I, I mean, it's like give and take. Um, it's like give and take. So Phil from Fort Myers, who was caught by Billy Rowe, coach of Miami Northwestern, Billy Rowe actually asked Phil <laughs> family to bring him to Northwestern. And Phillip said he was all, all for it. He, he, he was about to move from Fort Myers to Miami to play for Miami Northwestern and that would have been the 19, that would have been the 1998-99 season. Um, which, that, that, I think that's the, the Weaver Twin team, uh, that's Trauma Ward, that's that's the second team that they said the, the greatest Miami Northwestern team ever. Um, I'm thinking with, with the Trauma Ward and the Weaver Twins and Tory Cox and all and all of those people. Um, so Philip Buchanan was almost on that team, but his mama wasn't having it. <laughs> his mama wasn't having it. She said she wouldn't let her baby leave Fort Myers. Um, and his team, he said his teammates was like, Nah, bro, we can't lose. We can't lose you like that. Uh, we, we we need you. He went back to Fort Myers. Got injured, barely even played that year, <laughs> and that's and that's how that went. Went to Miami and goes down as one of the best cornerbacks to ever play um, at University of Miami. He's actually in the Miami Hall of Fame. Um, but every now and then, man, we gonna scroll through some of these classes, man, and, and see some of the greatness and talk about some of the greatness and tell some of these stories. Um, y'all make sure y'all like, share, hit the join button. It's down there somewhere iPhone level, just go to the description and hit the, click the link in the description. I got a join link in the description and we got a subscribe link in the description. Um, members, make sure you check out the community section. That's where all your member love at. Um, we got a group me for the members. Y'all got to get involved. It's all in the member section, the community section. If you don't know where it's at, ask God. Go to Google. Google. Where's well, the community section on YouTube? God will take you right there. Y'all stay locked in with us, man. Caneville, Footballville, we out. Let's go take three motherfucking things, and that's what? It's the boss, 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 it's the bo